What's that? Don't feel comfortable frying a chicken wing. Why not? Unless she wants to put on a pair of orange shorts and go out there and serve it. Check yourself before you check them out, OK? I'm going to ask you again. He has this huge ego about fried chicken. This is really irrelevant. Who has an ego about cooking fried chicken? What is that? I don't. So today's episode of Kitchen Nightmares is about the restaurant Park's Edge. And the YouTube video is called Chef Serves Gordon Grilled Lettuce. That is already so scary. Before we get into it, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you get an update every single time we upload a new video. <laughs> My favorite skillets. Oh wait, oh wait, I gotta start, I gotta get another one. Sorry, I pulled up the wrong one. Kitchen nightmares. I didn't pull up the right clip. There we go. There we go. Inman Park, Georgia, an upscale Atlanta suburb known for its trendy dining scene. In the middle of this tight knit community is Park's Edge, oh, Luigi, I'm opened sorry. three years ago by longtime friends Richard and Jorge. All right, Jorge. Jorge is my best friend. Our friendship started when I used to own an air freight company That's in California. And for the last three years, we've been business partners. Okay, where's Richard? OK, there you go. I was looking for you. When I was working for Richard, I decided that I was going to go to culinary school. And after I graduated from culinary school, and Richard right, and I Nick decided Cole? to open up this restaurant. Hey, guys, the first guest is coming in. Let's look Isn't alive. Is one? Prior to owning Park's Edge, I had zero restaurant experience. Yeah, you got help. Oh no, I'm already scared. Hi, welcome into chat, Rico. Guys, can we make uh, Rico feel super welcome? I'm already scared when someone says they had zero restaurant experience before they open a restaurant. Oh, that's so terrifying. Wait a little bit. Hi, Rico. I just had a dream. Basically, I don't know, they had a couple dollars in their pocket and they're like, hey, <laughs> let's open one. up a restaurant. Okay, you got spiders on, everything's on. Do you know how to do it? No, do you? No, well, hey, how hard can it be? I have a refire on 10. I don't have a refire on 10. Hey, one at a time. The kitchen is a mess. What is that, eh? I don't have that, man. There's no organization and structure. How long you got on the scallops yeah, on 21, so. chef? They're, they're, my times are all fucked up over here. I don't think Jorge knows what he's doing. When's this guy gonna realize his food's just not working and that he needs to do something else? My cooking is something that's a little more evolved and different. Hey, try it. Oh, God. His cooking is something a little more evolved and different. Grilling salad. Mm. <laughs> Basic restauranting, inventory management, adjusting based on customer feedback. It is, it is. And they never do any of the, the above. <laughs> I like to just kind of take Dark stuff swan. that's basic and just sort of reinvent it. <laughs> yeah, you can't start that. Okay. Damn. Wow, this is weird and I wouldn't get it again. Did not like the taste. They said it wasn't good. Jorge definitely thinks his food is like Olympic quality food. It's perfect. It's like having a friend that just thinks they're completely kick ass at yeah, something and they're not that good at it. He could either order seafood, but I would not take another steak for him. All right, how are your tables doing, Drew? 45. They're already been in for an hour. They got that little girl looking like she's about to die. They're starving children? They're starving the children? How dare they? How dare they? It's one thing to starve adults, but you're starving the children? God. <laughs> Hi, uh, yeah. No, I don't. When the heat is on in the kitchen. I've never worked this hard before. <laughs> Richard serves no purpose. How's it going? Bye on it. Not good. I know. He doesn't know anything about the restaurant to help. My job is to run the front of the house, okay? And that's the easy part. Oh my god, I didn't even see you, Cass. How you doing, baby? I just... His job is literally. That's all we've seen him do. That's all we've seen him do. <laughs> Dress up and smile. <laughs> That's all I do. Voila. <laughs> he always has a smile on his face. <laughs> like nothing is going wrong. He kind of has this. But there's some deep seated issues with the restaurant and the community. We put a tent up in the parking lot. I didn't know you needed yeah, a permit. Sean. And then we were pouring liquor around the license. A newscaster came to the restaurant and he told me that the neighbors don't like us being here 
they could do better and deserve better. And my response was, they don't like us because we're a black owned restaurant and we're in a white neighborhood. Since Rich called the neighborhood raises, we lost most of the business. What's going on out there? I wonder why when you call a neighborhood racist, they don't want to eat at your restaurant. I wonder why. That's really a massive yikes. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh, that's such a yikes. Not a good look at all. I agree, Rada. Uh, you don't want to know, man. Oh, we need a it yikes, man. I, I couldn't even walk the floor. Basic restauranting. Don't call your customer racist. <laughs> I need to add one by on it. It actually does, this Dark Swan. Life. It actually does. Wait, the laughing, the lull face looks like the chef. It's so true, Divas. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't their sign look like some sort of paint store? Or, like, I don't know. It reminds me, it feels very like they sell Tupperware or something. <laughs> like, it does not. Yeah, it's giving Microsoft. <laughs> yeah, Resurrect, oopsie doopsie. I accidentally insulted the entire neighborhood. Yeah, it doesn't look like a restaurant. Yeah. Thank you. I agree, guys. Looks like a gallery. Yeah, that's so true, Harrison. To be a successful restaurant, like, you need. It looks like it's an insect store. <laughs> the neighborhood on your side. Now, I did a little research on Park Says before I got here, and what I found was somewhat shocking. They've only been open for three years, and they've managed already to totally alienate the whole neighborhood. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. How are you it's doing, Chef Ramsey? Chef Ramsey, owner of the restaurant. Come owner of the restaurant. Look at you, looking very dapper. We need Chef Ramsey help because Jorge and I have built up a ill relationship, which is warranted with the community, and I don't know how to fix it at this point. Um, who's at the foundation? Corey and I. Okay, great. It was 50-50. I usually get managed in front of the house, he runs the back of the house. Okay, and is that there now? Yeah. Wanna go take a look? Yeah. Well, why okay. do you bring him out? Okay, hold on a sec. Corey, can you step away right now, or no? I mean, I got a second. Okay. As far as the food and the menu. Tell me, Dark Swan said he looks like the lull emote. I totally agree. This guy looks like the lull emote on dude, Twitch. There's really nothing wrong with it. He does. He really does. Oh my God. <laughs> as far as the community is concerned, <laughs> I, I think totally we definitely need some, some help. <laughs> Give me a little insight to the business so I can get my head up to speed. In your eyes, what's the issue? I totally it's agree. In a nutshell, uh, you know, we're just trying to reach back to the neighborhood. Yeah, we made some mistakes in this neighborhood that uh, we don't know how to unwind. I did read yeah, something about that. It. And we're hoping you can help us with that a little bit. So the good news is it's not the food. No, right? no, no, no. Well, it's no. great. Well, I can't wait to eat. All right. All right. Let's Very go. Good. Okay, follow me. He had the audacity to say it's not the food. He said it's not the food. It is the food, brother. It's the food. Right this way. It's the grilled lettuce. Okay, what you got? Here we go, Chef. Thank you. Uh, Amy's going to be taking care of you. You should be right over, right? Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> First by say it's scallops. I hope you have egg rolls. Yeah. Just three shared wontons. Wow. Mexican, <laughs> Asian, honest. Indian. It sounds like a fusion confusion. How are you? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. My name is Amy. Amy, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I love yeah, that smile. Thank you. What's the style of food here? What is it? Is it a, a fusion classic confusion. American? No, I think it's a classic <laughs> Mexican. With an American twist. Or a twisted chef. Or a twist. <laughs> Stop, she's so pretty. Uh, she's so pretty. Look at her cheeks. Oh, her teeth. Oh, you guys are agreeing with me. She's so pretty and her voice. <laughs> okay, I'll check it out, Patronus. It's a good idea. Is there a misprint on there, or is that me? Grilled Caesar salad? No. Really? The lettuce is grilled. Uh -huh. Top it on the grill. You never heard of that? No, it hasn't oh. hit London yet. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't hit London yet. Hug Julian, we love you, Julian. Okay, I'll start off with that. The grill, <laughs> so no chicken, just, uh, just... Do you know what? Throw the chicken in there, why not? Throw the chicken yeah. in there? I'll go for the... Uh, Bionic. Um, uh, hello. Hi, how are you? Before you steal my knife and fork, can you say hello? Oh. Yeah. My yes. name's Kevin. Kevin, good to see you, bud. Can I help you? Yeah, we're thrilled to have you here. 
I hope you can make some sense out of this shit. Yeah. Kevin! I need you. Can you excuse me for a second? Please. You're, you're busy. What even just, what even was that interaction? Like, I, I'm genuinely so perturbed by what just happened. I don't even. Yeah, JB. <laughs> yeah. Obi-Wan. I thought he was a thief. That was random. I, 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 was random. I thought he was a thief. <laughs> Gordon is so funny. Shut up, Gordon. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he is. Excellent. What does Kevin do? He's a bartender. He's a bartender. Yeah, so he really shouldn't even be over here right now. So I, 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 a bartender that just pops up and clears tables. I don't know tables. what he's doing. Multitasking. <laughs> OK, where were we? I'll go for the flash fried oysters. Um, I'll go for the grilled salmon. What are you doing there, Kevin? Are you lost, Kevin? Hi, Amanda. You haven't missed too much, but so far we've learned that they alienated the neighbor neighborhood that the restaurant's in by calling them all racist. And we met Kevin, the silverware thief. And as it's ready, just send it. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. And Amy's beautiful, the server. Come yeah, in, dark chef. One. I'm ringing in his orders, okay? <laughs> Sounds okay. good, Rada. So be prepared. To me, it's Chef Ramsay's just oh, another customer. Oh, and grilled customer. salad. I mean, as long as he likes my food, we're gonna get along just fine. Good salad. Good to go? Walking out. Yeah, I think he's gonna love this salad. I mean, it's a grilled lettuce. I mean, can't go wrong. Grilled salad. Come on. It is grilled. Like, I genuinely don't believe this is even washed. Like, I don't believe this is washed. There's no way they clean this. It's probably full of dirt and bugs. Are you still amazed? <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked. I've never thought <laughs> That's about funny, it, but it's true. Like, wait. Character confiscating cutlery. <laughs> Why are we grilling lettuce? Sorry for interrupting. Just two seconds. But this is a first for me. A grilled Caesar salad. Do you know, they actually grilled the lettuce. Um, can you just show a hand if anyone else has ever had a grilled Caesar salad before? Anybody here, ladies? No? Sorry for interrupting. Sorry. Oh, geez. That's actually insane. Oh. I always get nervous when a chef serves me the butt of the lettuce. When you've got the butt of the lettuce on, you can never clean the lettuce properly. That's what I said! That's what I said! Thank you! I said that that lettuce is definitely not clean. That's disgusting. There's dirt and bugs in there. I don't care. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's not very nice inside. Dry chicken. The salad looks hideous. Why is it so spicy? Take it away. Everything is spicy. Everything. Jesus. Thanks, Danny. Grilled Caesar salad. Coming in, chef. Chicken is dry. Yeah, right? Pixel? But <laughs> the lettuce never should be at the end of the lettuce. Okay. And why does the salad have to be spicy? We're a Mexican-American cuisine. Well, he's clearly not from Mexico, so... First of all, Caesar salad is not from Europe, it's from Mexico. I mean, I'm the Mexican here, you're not. It's supposed to be spicy. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually such a weird vibe in this restaurant. I can't. I can't. Sisters? Oh, the flash fried. Yes. Thanks, darling. Flash Are fried. You Flash fried oysters, right, Jimmy? Oyster. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like a fossil from Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh. Luigi, good night. Take care. Much love to you. Guys, can we say bye to Luigi? Wow, that is disgusting. Can you get me Richard, please? Sorry. Yes, sir. Sit down. OK. When was the last time you sat down and actually ate? That's funny, Pegasus. I have sampled the entire menu right. on a regular That's basis. Pixel. Yeah. I want you to close your eyes now. Okay. Please. All right. OK? And just try and identify that. Tell me what you taste there. There's a lot of bread. A lot of bread. A little heat. Mm. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Oh, you're right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's coughing. He's coughing. Thank you for the 
Mr. Jack. Hi, Hannah Banana. How are you? <coughs> yeah. Please, here you go. Please, thank you. He's okay. choking. <laughs> rich needs water. It's about time for you know, Rich to actually taste the food and see what's going on. Don't and then he out. died. Yeah, it was, it was the spice that got me at the end. Yeah, the spice that got you. <laughs> it's the bread that got me. <laughs> That, that sounds awesome, Hannah. No good on the oysters? Uh, yeah, not good. <laughs> Next up is salmon. Salmon. Let's live in hope. What happened? Everything is Hi, just Harrison. way too spicy. Ay, ay, ay. Chef Jorge thought that he was going to impress uh, Chef Ramsay with his food, and he wasn't impressed. I hope that this is definitely like an eye opener for him. So your plate is really hot. Don't worry, thank you, babe. OK. That looks like the bottom of a fucking bird cage. Okay. I mean, salmon served on a bed of sticky rice with a green curry beurre blanc. What the fuck is going on in there? It's like the United Nations. That looks so bad. I miss you too, Hannah. I'm so happy to see you. Look at it. The main course is there. What's the style? It's a, it's, I guess it's a little convoluted, isn't it? That's one way of putting it. Yeah. Okay. I want you to taste this. Go for the ragu and the strawberries. I mean, just the combination. The rice is just mm -hmm. hideous. Yeah. The spice is ridiculous. And the strawberries and the red onion ragu. Yeah. I had no idea we had that many problems with the food. The chef Ramsey dissected it. We got a lot of work to do here, don't we? That's the understatement of the year. Yeah. Don't worry. Look how sweaty he is. Yeah, it's like covered in seeds or something. Got some more input for you. Okay. He says you got a little board with green curry beurre blanc, the mm -hmm. strawberry ragu, and a sticky rice. Green curry ragu, straw wait, green curry, strawberry, and sticky rice with salmon. I think I'd actually throw up. You try it? Uh, yeah. And when you try the three together, it is a little, um... Disgusting. It doesn't blend well. You take it through the kitchen. Yeah, that way. Where's the chef? Here. Right here. Oh, okay, good. Richard, come in for two minutes. Okay. Uh, when I arrived, you said the problem with the restaurant was the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And the issue wasn't the food. Yes, sir. Seriously? Then I cannot believe that you stand there and tell yourself that your food is edible. Whose ever idea it was to grill a Caesar salad was just hideous. And the same thing one was grilling a salad. I the can't salad wasn't even clean. They had the butter and lettuce on there. But forget the grilled Caesar salad. The biggest insult, the salmon. You're all over the place. There's no thought process. What restaurant did you train in? I went to school. What do you mean you went to school? Where did you go out and train before you opened your own restaurant? Oh, I did it. I did it. You didn't train? Yeah, not at all. trained in a restaurant so crazy hi donnie welcome in we missed you earlier welcome in <laughs> out of culinary school <laughs> right, you then went to your own restaurant that is great really here's it in a nutshell you're not qualified to stand behind the line let alone run your own fucking business all you're doing is you're coming in here, trashing my background as far as where I've been, saying that all the food you ate today was shit, OK? One man's opinion is not an issue. You've got the arrogance to stand there and tell me that you think you're right. OK. You're gone. Listen, before you came here, all the things were working. Working in your little mind or working in your mind? I knew, I knew, I knew they needed to be tweaked. Tweaked? Yeah. Fucking brain surgery. This guy's just out of control. He doesn't have any fucking right to come in here and just fucking talk to me in that sort of manner. Get the fuck out of here. This is my... <laughs> it always, it always gets me when they invite Gordon Ramsay and then he tells them the truth and then they say, what right does he have to talk to me like that? What right does he have? <laughs> like, what? Who do you think you invited in? The restaurant. Yeah, Show Tony. me some fucking respect. I gotta go. After yeah. an informative lunch, Chef Ramsay has a better Jocelyn. understanding of the food problems at Park's Edge. Uh, right, let's catch up. He now wants to delve deeper into the issues that this restaurant has with its local community. I'd like to sort of understand what happened here. 
of the neighborhood. Uh, number one was... That's 100% true, Brian. He erected a tent in a parking lot without a proper permit. So we get cited. First, the neighbors came by and said, hey, you got to take the tent down. It's not legal. Did you take it down? We did in accordance to the city, but not in accordance to the neighbors. Damn. So that pissed off the locals. Next. Right. So then we didn't have a liquor license and a business license. And I'm not going to lie. We were, we were getting, Fine. we were negligent. Wow. I mean, that's quite major. No liquor license. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So then, first the neighbors came out and said the neighborhood could do better. Uh, we were not good enough for the neighborhood. And my response was they don't like us because we are a minority-owned restaurant in a white neighborhood. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So you said the neighborhood was racist? Yes, exactly. Have you done anything, you personally, in the last three years to sort of build those bridges with the neighborhood? I don't... That's what I was thinking, Conro. How are they still open? They're operating without a business license and a liquor license serving liquor. They put up a tent in the... <laughs> Oh my God, so many people shouldn't own businesses in this show, it's crazy. How did they own I don't know it? what to do or what to say or how to reach out. I know, right? Dark Swan went absolutely insane at the start of stream. Like, I'm still stunned. Thank you again. Thank you again. Properly. We made some yeah, stupid right, mistakes. Even the statement I made was, was stupid. Right, and Pegasus? I don't know how to fix it at this point. I don't know if I think it might even be beyond repair. Okay, I'll be back later, yeah? I want to observe how you run your business. All right? so generous in saying push-ups mm-hmm push-ups sure <laughs> thank you all right thank you thanks for the hug julian they should be soon zigs he did admit it pixel let's see what he does to fix it because he's gonna have to apologize okay, ladies uh, we're gonna get set really really quick we got 70 that makes me happy wolf midget we love you people in an hour and a half <laughs> with a busy night well. ahead of them man you need this pasta transfer no i'm good Richard and Jorge prepare their teams for dinner service. Back, out back for one second. <laughs> oh, there you are, huh? You okay? Ready? Yeah. You're yeah. going outside with a cigarette in your hand. <laughs> yes. Customer's about to come in, and uh, you're going outside I'm for a cigarette. Going, no. Uh, no. It was very embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. It was like a, a parent punishing a child. I got Fuck you. off in there. Come on, let's All go. Right, here we go. What's up? Cool, hey. I just want you to do what you normally do. Okay, so do whatever you need to do. All right, man, thank you. Chef Ramsey thinks that I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. And this is a time for me to show Chef Ramsey what Park Sash is all about. So, who yeah, does Sean. I do grill, pantry. Uh, chef's gonna work saute, and Matt, I believe, is the in between helping us out. And how much experience do you have? More than 10 years. More than 10 years? Yeah. Okay, good. I love his mohawk. I want a mohawk. What would you guys do if I just came on stream and I had like a little going on, you know? Hi, Cody. Thanks for coming through from you two. How are you today? Do it? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, how many years of experience do you have? Uh, 15. 15. Wow. <laughs> Hi, ladies. How are we? Hi. My name is Drew. I'll be your server. We'll try to go. <laughs> the dinner service underway. This is I agree, the Ziggs. Well, Carla right here. I do. They're going to be excited. Chef Ramsay is eager to see agree, how Brian. Jorge leads his team oh. in the kitchen. Hey, yeah, Ebony, talk to me. Where are you at right now? Table 12 is working. No, it's not working yet. I don't think it's, it's Jesse. Okay, 42 needs to go out. Chef, are you ready on 42? What's on 42? Gosh. Wow. Hold on, 10. Wait, wait. Jorge doesn't know. Yeah, that actually is what's crazy. And I think what they were trying to point or what Gordon was trying to point out there is that every single chef that works under the owner slash head chef have weight like vastly more experience than him. I can't imagine what that would feel like to have someone who has less experience than you. And like it's one thing for them to have less experience than you, but to be capable at the job. But he both has less experience and is completely incapable of doing a good job. So it must be just such a trip for them. Oh, what he's doing. Matt, Jesse, what are you guys working on right now? Thanks, we Julian. We need a scallops on 36. Yeah, I'm not ready to scallop. What scallops are you doing? Yeah, We're doing 36 on. right now. Unbelievable. It's crazy that someone thinks that they can come out of culinary school and run a restaurant when you don't have any experience. Is Jorge running the kitchen or? That's crazy, Patronus. No, he's running the kitchen. 
He is. He's a little overwhelmed right now. He's overwhelmed? I agree, he might be. I agree, Donnie. Oh, my God. It's raw in the middle. Let me see the side rolls. Oh, wow. Okay, let me take that back. We're going to work on that. Chef? What is the issue? It's raw in the middle. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. Okay. Unfucking real. Great, Malcolm. It's cold. I don't know. It's medium rare. It's cold center. Medium rare is going to be cold center. I don't know what the problem is. Oh, my God. Medium rare is going to be cold center. I love medium rare and I have never had a medium rare with a cold center. Medium rare? Like what? That's disgusting. I've literally never had a cold center medium rare. Cold! It's so frustrating. I'm a good server, like, and you're just making me look bad. And that's my money, like, that's my tip. So now it's like you're messing with my money now. She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, it's raw. I mean, you can't serve that to customers. What is that? That's raw. You cannot serve it like this. Yeah, his food is to perfection. Yeah, that makes sense, Pixel. Like he should be cooking for President Obama. All right. <laughs> you're okay. Yeah. But I thought you owned the place, ran the place. I do. I'm just struggling to see a chef right now. Yes, why well, would... But the stuff is... Met in Marisol over 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the middle. I don't know, actually, BuzzDog. But it's definitely over freezing cold. <laughs> it's stuff these are going over yeah, cold or undercooked. Yeah, that's you. right. Need to wake up a little bit. Anyhow. Jesus. With Chef Jorge losing complete control of his kitchen... <laughs> it's going to be eight minutes. What? The servers are frustrated. Table 20A, really need it. So it should be 50 or 60 in the middle. Not surprising. Thanks, Ikonobi. They aren't the only ones. Uh, I'm doing all I can at this point. It's our first time. Yeah, that's right. a terrible pixel. Is there any way you can go to the table and do what you can do? Where do I go? Where do I go beyond that? Richard does not like to deal with the complaints. I feel like we as servers are running this restaurant. I need Rich. Don't we all? Richard, can I, have you got, you got two seconds? Yes, sir. Yeah, quickly, please. What's happening? Mm -hmm. What's your role? As far as table times and software? No, just in general. Well, we're right now we're in the weeds. I'm, I'm, letting, I'm letting him do his thing. But you're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. You just stand around and sort of glide. Well, right now we're overwhelmed. The, the house is full. Oh, come on, Richard. Come on. I don't, I, I don't even know where to begin with the tables. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, come on, Richard. Doing dinner service, I don't know what to do differently. I'm at a loss. I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm at a loss. Yeah, I hear you. So I personally don't get involved. OK, here's your crab cake right here. Can I get some runners, please? Yep, I'm here to run. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm here to run. Run, run away. Gordon, literally, oh, he's getting off. This is a joke. I've never seen two owners that are more clueless I'm running a place than these two idiots, I'm telling you. Richard just walks around and it's almost like he's in a dream. And Jorge, the self-appointed executive chef, that guy hasn't got a clue. Thank God the locals boycotted this place because if they ate here, they'd never come back. <laughs> Park Edge? Yeah, on the edge of a fucking disaster. Oh. What a nightmare. Excuse I feel like I've never seen Gordon so without words. Normally he has something to point to of what he doesn't like or something but he's just so overwhelmed by how bad everything is and how lost they are that he's just kind of like, do, do, do something. <laughs> he's for one again. Yeah, right, Donnie? Okay. The entire table. Yes. With disgruntled diners unwilling to wait any longer. All right, folks, have a good night. Yeah, right, oh, I'm not happy. The dining room empties out quickly. That's a wrap, Jorge. But while the kitchen may be Thanks done for the, for the hydrate, night, Martin. Start wrapping things up, man. Chef Ramsay's inspection of the walk-in is just beginning. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Oh no! Look at this. What a mess. Asparagus here, rubbery. Oh come on. That's got to be a month old. What the fuck is that? Right, man? Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Oh shit. <laughs> No. What was that? That that stuff on the meat? No idea. 
is that? Oh, it's chicken. Marinating chicken. Jeez, it's marinating, all right? It's more like fermenting. What a joke. I'm sorry, Dark Swan. Oh, hey, can I, uh, can I just have a, a word with you in private <sighs> with Richard? Yeah, on our yeah. own. When was the last time you looked in here? Probably. Come on, straight answers. Just one of you give me a thing. Wednesday. Wednesday. Look what's in the box. Who turns the produce over? Who rotates the freshness? That's my staff. Really? Fuck me. Seriously? Why throw my lemons like that for? Why are you taking my product? They're and you're molding doing it you. Hey, look. Okay. Want to see some more? Stay there. Chicken. Fucking hell. I mean, look at this. This guy is so aggressive. And like the ego on him. Why are you throwing my like blood beans down? Like, why are you doing that? Take care of your things so they don't have to go in the garbage. What's this for? When's that from then, Chef? Those are my Those are, <gasps> today. Those are, those are not going to be served to the public. Oh, they're not going to be served to the public. I'm, I'm telling you that I'm not going to serve this. So you're, you're saving them for what? Talk to me then. They're just from, from this morning. You bullshitting little fucker. No, you're the little fucker. I'm telling you, this were made today. Oh, right. If you don't fucking believe me, that okay. is your responsibility. So no, it's your thing. You're lying through your teeth. I am not lying yes, through my teeth. Yes, you are. You can't, okay. even tell, you can't even tell me the truth. Do you know truth why? About what? Because you don't know. And you're a fucking joke. You Listen. Think. You're a joke too. dinner service and discovering the state of the walk-in. What's this for? Because you're not going to be served to the public. You bullshitting little fucker. Chef Ramsay has had enough of Jorge's excuses. You're lying through your teeth. I am not lying yes, through my teeth. Yes, you are. Okay. You can't even tell me the truth. Do you know truth why? About what? Because you don't know. And you're a fucking joke. You listen. All oh, right. You're a joke too, man. Are you going to walk off now? Walk off? Listen, oh. all you do, all you do oh. is hammer. Do you know what? What upsets me more about you than anything? is that you don't even realize you're playing at running a restaurant. And the minute you start looking at yourself in the mirror and stop blaming the people around you, the quicker you may get this place turned around. Got it? Good. Fucking joke. Oh, no. Hoy does need his eyes open a bit. He didn't really Bye think Josh. we had that many problems with the food. But it's just obvious tonight that things are not right. I don't understand why this guy has such a massive ego when he knows absolutely nothing about what he's doing. And honestly, that's probably why he has such a massive ego or such a front is because he's so deeply insecure about everything he's doing that he has to like overcompensate with this bravado and ego. Poor hate right, Bowen? Yeah, Patronus. Yeah, Bionic. After a disastrous day one, Chef Ramsay wants Josh. to get through to the owners about all of the issues of the restaurant. Good morning. <laughs> How are we? Julian. Yeah. He wants the staff to Her unload, and the owners will be watching via surveillance cameras. What I'd love to know is what the exactly, issues Donnie. are behind the scenes. Are you going to help? Dark Swan. Do you know what? The reason I'm here is to help. But I can't start helping until I know exactly what is going on. So what I need from you guys is a clear picture. What are the main issues in here? Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like Richard just is really reluctant to be interactive with the guests after they're sat. It's like butts and seats, mm -hmm. and that's where he stops. And we're really responsible of solving guest problems. Richard. He gets stressed, he drinks wine, and so sometimes it makes it hard for us to communicate with him when we're having problems, because he's been drinking all day. If he wants to be as effective as an owner, he needs to be completely 100% when he's here. That's a good point. It's a very good point. And does he drink every day? Yes. Oh my god! Zig, sleep well, we love you. Take care, bye! Now what does Jorge think of that? Yeah, they have a lot of separation. Jorge's in the kitchen and Richard's out front. Their interactions are some Very pretty minimal. 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 They need to educate themselves uh, more about yeah, this business. I know more about running a restaurant than either one of them together. 
they're too proud to say, hey, I do need help. Yeah. Chef Jorge, he acts like he's like on your level. He's like fresh out of culinary school. They need to be I mean, educated. The ink hasn't even dried on his little certificate, and now he thinks he's an executive chef. The ink hasn't even dried on his little certificate. <laughs> Good lord. Has anyone ever told Jorge that his food is so complicated? Chef is extremely stubborn, does not care what anybody has to say about anything, and if you dare say anything to him, it's your ass. Hi, Rebecca! Wow. You cannot give Jorge any negative feedback or you will get lashed out. Wow. I didn't see him lash out at anybody last night. Does, does he shout? Does he scream? What does he say when he, when he goes off? I get called dumb, uh, pinheaded. He had a conversation in Spanish a couple of weeks ago in the kitchen about how fat I'd gotten. One day he snapped at me and I was just like, don't talk to me like that. And then he was like, oh, if you don't like it, well, you don't have to be here. I'm like, if I don't like verbal abuse, like, I don't have to be here. Seriously? What is this guy's problem? Good Lord, what is his problem? Oh my God, yeah, Craigslist Culinary Wait. School. I think if we want to see. Okay. <laughs> I think we need to stage an intervention for them because they're in denial. Good, because there's no need. They're right here. They're here right now. That's right. They're watching. Oh my god. I'm going to get them and bring them out. Okay? Good. Like they're here right now. I never would have said those things if I had known that they were listening. So awkward. I guess everything is out in the open now. After the staff detailed the problems with the owners, they're too proud the to so say, hey, I do need help. Gordon wants to bring the two sides together Let's yeah, go okay. and bring it all to a head. Same. I would be sweating. Yeah. Uh, you know, the um, most important talking about uh these fictional characters in the show so <laughs> i was watching part now is ironing this out <laughs> um we heard everything you guys said and um i was enlightened period that's all i got to say <laughs> um <laughs> My honor. It, 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 it touched me um deeply and um, all right josh yeah i was enlightened I was, I was in line. Oh, he's crying. He's oh, crying. Oh, man, this is, this is really deep for me, man. I've always been a pillar. Sit down. All right, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm you fine. sure? You go ahead, Hori. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, just watching all of you guys. Just express how you feel. I was picturing the moments that you guys are talking about, and um, I really want to apologize um, to you guys for being unfair. You guys have been so dedicated to working with us together uh, to build this restaurant. I don't want you guys to feel like you've been taken advantage. I don't want you guys to feel that way. And I didn't know that was a feeling. As far as my attitude, believe me, that things will change. You don't go from calling somebody fat or saying that they gained weight and like verbally abusing people to sorry and that it's all gonna be better in one second. I don't believe this guy. I actually believe the other guy, but the chef, he's full of it. I don't like him. I don't trust him. That's right, Josh? my word to you guys and I'm willing to I take those steps that we need to take to move forward. Mm -mm. I definitely- I don't trust him. I don't trust Jorge. I don't trust him at all. He's a liar. I need to treat people differently you know, before he gets to this stage again. You know, I really yeah. never thought Superman. about what you guys <laughs> thought. And I'm sorry. Yeah, I consider myself a, you know, a pretty nice guy for the most part and loving and concerned and giving. And I, I, I haven't been to you guys. Not that I haven't been. And I apologize for that. <laughs> I've learned more in these last few minutes than I think I've learned for the three years I've been here. I know me. I'm very confused about these guys yeah the the i'm a nice guy comment also turned me off of like trusting richard either 
I'm such a nice, thoughtful, considerate, loving, perfect, amazing guy. And I just haven't been that guy for you. I haven't been that guy for you. And I'm so sorry. I usually am so perfect and loving and caring and amazing and nice and so good. But I'm just, I wasn't in this moment. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just so fake. Ew. Both of them. Ew. And I know what I'm capable of doing. And I haven't cared enough. Yeah, I Donnie. Know that. There's so much more. I can <laughs> Josh. And there's so much more I can be learning as well. <laughs> right, this is Rebecca? definitely a turning point. I'm looking for new and better ways. It's high time we change. I think so, Nixle. Brother, ew. While Chef Ramsay has a plan to relaunch this restaurant, he knows it's also critical that Richard and Jorge reach out to the community. And he's arranged an opportunity for them to do just that. If there's ever a chance for you to be yeah, able to do Yes. I can't think of a more fitting time yeah. now. All right, let's go. Okay. okay. Going on the news was a platform that part of this controversy started with, and going on the news now will allow us to use the same platform to hopefully end it. We are joined by the one and only Chef Ramsay, and he's brought a couple of friends along from Park's Edge Restaurant in Inman Park, and we are delighted to have you gentlemen with us. Let's talk about where they need to begin to get sure. things on the right track. Where do, where do they start at Park's mm -hmm. Edge? They had uh, the most amazing uh, restaurant with a great location, right. right smack bang in the neighborhood, and we got off to a wrong sort of footing, didn't we? Yes, we did. We basically didn't respect our neighborhood in the way we should have. There were some things that were set out of frustration that I sincerely want to apologize about, and we hope that we can gain the community's trust and respect once again. Mm -hmm. Being able to voice the apology on local TV was one of the greatest gifts I had ever received. You see me smiling ear to ear. I am so excited. I can't, I can't even explain. I don't trust. I don't trust them at all. Watch what, this clip? What is this? I don't trust them. I just don't trust them. I'm such a nice, thoughtful, considerate, loving, perfect, amazing guy, and I just haven't been that guy for you. I'm such a nice, thoughtful, considerate, loving, perfect, amazing guy, and I just haven't been that guy for you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sean. After Richard and Jorge took their first big step oh, to reconnect no. with the community. How are we? Good, how's it going? Ladies, good to see you. I was quoting the guy. I was trying to show that he was fake. I was quoting him. See, I got clipped out of context. I was quoting him. <laughs> Chef Ramsay is now ready to unveil Park's Edge. Oh, no! <laughs> What I don't get is they didn't do any research on location and demographics by open a restaurant in a predominantly white neighborhood if that's not the clientele for them or they think that will accept them. I think they just didn't do any research period or inform themselves in any way whatsoever. And it's always easier, always easier to play the victim than to confront your own um, inadequacy. New look. It's the beginning of a new era. He's like more past, you think so? an exciting yeah. new future. Welcome to the new I'll, I'll take a look out for that. Beautiful. See, that at least looks like a restaurant sign. Wow. Edgy. Edgy. Very rustic looking. Huh? Rustic, clean, simple, modern. Good news is, the orange is gone. Yeah. Even better news. That the looks way gone. better. Be inside too. <laughs> you ready to come inside? Yes. Yeah, yeah let's he go. is. Hannah. Let's go, let's go. Come around. Hi, Kenderson. Oh, my God. Oh, Chilean. What? Oh, my God. That looks good. Wow. That looks really oh nice. That's God. a good run out. This, this is a good is run out. Beautiful. Take it in. They Go did on. it. Are the hideous colors we brought in? A I new think so, Hannah. Oh I agree. It's good, but it's not striking or unique or anything. Is this the first reaction? We did a very long Reddit recap, Canderson. <laughs> so this is the first one, yeah. I don't know, Cody. It's so funny. I, I agree with you, Cody. Bye, Sean. Take care. Oh, this is phenomenal. Uh, I got goosebumps as I was walking in. I was seeing the new colors. And, you know, there's like a yeah, life in here. I am very proud to be the owner of Park Says right now. We've got some amazing pictures on the wall. All these images are local. Doesn't it look good that you're bringing back in the neighborhood into your restaurant and confirm that yeah, you care about them? Such a great idea. The new look is so refreshing. This is who we are. Beautiful, hand painted, hand carved, stunning wood panels on the wall. You're on the park's edge, so can we incorporate that stunning backdrop into the restaurant? I love it, man. I love it. All the linens have gone and exposed those beautiful wooden tables. 
I am so happy and so proud. I am flabbergasted over the you changes guys, that were made. We in love you. Chef Ramsay has taken this restaurant to another level that we need to Tuesday, consider. Okay? The beautiful man. Yes. In addition to revamping the decor, wow. please, Chef Ramsay has completely overhauled Jorge's complicated menu. Yeah, it is, like this thin. new menu is easy to execute. And let's get one thing right. It's American cuisine with a contemporary twist. <laughs> Excited? Oh, yes. Yeah, anyway. Right, let's start off with this delicious this green good. fried tomatoes with a uh, buttermilk that dressing. That looks fire. Light, a little bit of spice and delicious. Wow. Next to that, spicy wings. Yeah, so with a really nice herb blue cheese dressing. I can't wait till you start so we can start eating. <laughs> uh, entrees, pan seared salmon, you just done with a cauliflower puree and a caper relish. Next to that, a nice little robust slice of pork belly with a cassoulet, Ooh. easy on the line. Any questions? Bionic. When can we eat? Jump in. Those are so wow. Those wings are really good too. This is some of the best food I've ever had. Food's definitely making me realize that, that my amazing. food was just too far complicated. Sip was way better. I hope nobody else wants these fries. It's my new oh. favorite restaurant. Mm. <laughs> she just like me. Shut up, Candice. <laughs> the music's good. I'm gonna dance. Mm. No more question mark complaints. <laughs> no oh. Amy is so cute. <laughs> Now that the menu has been removed. Fried tomato tomatoes are, are common in the American South, I think, Nixle. Like very fried green tomatoes specifically. Real. Okay, so they some mussels. That, that's their portion <laughs> for mussels. <laughs> Chef Ramsay has brought in his team to spend <laughs> all so day funny, training Kenison. the Park's Edge kitchen staff. There's a saute okay. and there's a grill. But not everyone is on board with the changes. Ooh. And then there's a fry station. Okay, so you do the fry station. I uh, will absolutely not cook a chicken huh? wing. You want to cook a chicken wing? No. What's that? Don't feel comfortable frying a chicken wing. Why not? Unless she wants to put on a pair of orange shorts and go out there and serve it. They're here to train us, okay? You gonna turn around and give them a hard time? Check yourself before you check them out, okay? I'm gonna ask you again. He has this huge ego about fried chicken. This is really irrelevant. He's gonna do what I tell him to do, not what he wants to do. Let's go. Who has an ego about cooking fried chicken? What is that? I don't. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, literally. What am I missing here? What is he mad about? Genuinely, what is he mad about? This guy stinks. You put a bunch of fucking chicken wings on the menu. Okay. I think somebody ought to fucking put some orange shorts on there and gotten serving. Okay. Now how about a little bit of respect and showing these two how about guys? A little fucking respect for a fine dining restaurant and not putting fucking chicken wings on them. problem grilling lettuce earlier but no we draw the line at fried chicken what what I that is not a canadian accent bionic fine dining restaurants <laughs> are you fucking listening to yourself where, where, where? Where? who the fuck do you think you are who do I think I am? A guy that knows when a menu sucks. How dare you get jumped up <laughs> telling the owners the menu's shit because you well. think you know better. Well, why aren't you doing better? Why haven't you got your own restaurant? How about having the intelligence to calm down and to start again? <laughs> Harrison, no! Is that possible? You yesterday? stinker. It's possible. Will you do it? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Today's a huge night. There's no way I'm gonna let somebody fuck it up. What even was the point of that fight? He's getting fried by Gordon. Yeah, he just got cooked. <laughs> Man, you should be up on board or get out. Show me what to do so I can do it. Thank you. It's relaunch night at Park's Edge. Big night. Yeah, tonight. We He's go. the sous chef. What was wrong with him? Why is he so mad? What the frick, man? I don't understand. Happy, everybody? Yes. Good. Aww. And fresh off Richard Julian. and Jorge's TV appearance. Hey, folks, how you doing? Welcome to Park's Edge. I'm Richard. How's it going? <laughs> the restaurant is packed, <laughs> and the community seems ready to give Park's Edge what another chance. Toast? This is day one for Park's Edge. We've got a great new menu going. Actor, new right, and I hope everything goes perfectly. We have a great new menu this evening. Everything's good, honestly. They even have things on here. I'm going to go with the mixed mushroom rigatoni. All right, great. Thank you all very much. Yeah, Donnie. Here we go. Put the scallop. Orange chef. 
Thank you. All right. I need two orders of muscles right here. Working, please. His little towel hat is so silly. Jesse, two orders of muscles. Okay, Matt, go ahead and focus on the green fried tomatoes. Thank you. I'm going to run my kitchen like a Thai chef tonight. I got to make sure that the food leaves this kitchen perfect. 21's up. Wow, that was fast. Nice. What a difference. All right, can I get a runner, please? Yeah. With Jorge really stepping yeah, up and commanding his kitchen. 32's coming up, 22's working. It's exactly the time. Okay. Delicious food is going out seamlessly. That's so good. It's good, right? Yeah. All right, you drive it. Drive, drive, drive. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yay, the food is coming out so quick. Don't jinx it. I'm oh, sorry. How long on wings? This is fucking ridiculous. Come on, Matt. I know you hate the wings, but just sell them, please. Hate me, don't hate the wings. You got your orange shorts? Orange shorts. Cut the shit to the end of service, okay, big boy? Come on. Hey, you, while you want to fuck around and take the piss, let me tell you something really important. What's that? Yeah, I've fucking forgotten more than you know. Just serve the food and shut the fuck up, smart ass. Matt, okay. what is the big deal? Huh? Trying to have a good time. You're not having a good time, man. You're making life tough. I'm having a good time. Why is he acting like that? Because he's a jackass. I am genuinely so confused about where this guy's attitude came from. Like, I, I have no idea what this guy's problem is. That is beyond yeah, the way to You are here to do a job. Do, do it. it. Four billies in the window. Right, Matt, Tom? just have a cut. I know you don't care, but I do. And you're supposed to be working hard tonight to help get this place turned around. Why are you now trying to sabotage it? Mr. Shitter, who thinks he can't fucking cook a chicken wing, can't even drop. A piece of right, pork Malachi? in the fryer. Look at it. Dry. Piece of overcooked pork belly. He's going to start sending us down. Yeah, do Man, you seriously want to fuck me over right now? Why are you being a piece of shit for them? I don't know if there's something wrong with that or not. I'm not a violent man by any means, but if he fucks it up for me tonight, I will literally do something. Why was that so scary? Why was that so scary? I'm not a violent man by any means, but if he messes it up for me tonight, I will literally do something. <laughs> Why didn't he stop smiling the whole time when he said that? I'm so scared. Like, I'm so scared. I am going to alert the authorities. The smile, the smile, the smile. <laughs> yeah, resurrect. There's something he'll do. <laughs> oh no, he is the Joker. <laughs> I'm still waiting on a pork yeah. belly. Yeah, I'm looking at pork belly. Talk to me, guys. Thumbs How are you doing? Down. Plating, chef. Thank you. I agree, Nixol. Oh, hey, please. Holly, Touch welcome it. in. How are please. you? It's stone cold. Come on, man. Chef, what do you think of that? Amanda, the chef, who yeah? hide? All this work for this. <laughs> man, Chef, this is really, How really you, difficult Holly? time. It's just into the mania. It's, it's almost like he's trying to destroy his whole dinner service. Why would you fuck up service tonight? You're making me look like shit. Chill out with the fucking drama. What'd you say? I said chill out with the drama. Get out of here right now. Get the fuck out right now. Oh, my. God, Holly, you're sleepy. Well, welcome in. Thanks for popping in, even though it's late for you. Can we make Holly feel super welcome, guys? You know what? What's this guy's problem? Get out of here. Oh, they go violent. It's relaunch night at Park's Edge. Four billies in the window. Look at it. Dry. And line cook Matt has not only made a number of mistakes. You can't be selling shit like that, man. Chill out with the fucking drama. But he has had a bad attitude as well. What'd you say? I said chill out with the drama. Get out of here right now. Jorge has had enough. Get the fuck out right now. You know what? What'd you say? Get out of here. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> the glasses! Crescendo, thanks for the follow. How are you? <laughs> Richard took off his glasses. I was like, oh. You're gonna be serious like that. Matt, see ya. Let's continue working, please. This is my kitchen, and we're moving forward. And if somebody becomes an obstacle or a speed bump, they're gone. We have no more tolerance for that. Hey, boy. Well done. Step up now. Yeah, get yeah. together. I'll yes. make it happen. Jesse, can you pick up some other stuff, please? Okay. I'm just waiting on pork belly. I think it's a good thing that Matt's gone. Now we can get down to business and not bicker like children. Pork belly in the window. Awesome, you are rocking my world. I guess you. Now with everyone pulling in the same direction. Yeah. Open door, chef. I'm gonna need a runner. Got 
got it. Thank you. Dishes quickly make their way out to happy diners. Hi, Jerry. Happy daily ads. Hey, Andre. My customers are happy. And it's just a completely different... Chris, oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Josh. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. The environment in the restaurant. I'm actually happy to be working here tonight. We're Aww. done now, all right? Yes. We still have a lot of work to do, but I definitely believe that we could build this restaurant again. Good job hanging in here today. Yeah, much better. Now, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Cool work. Yes, sir. It's been a rough week, let me tell you. We've had ups and downs, especially you and I. And you know what? I didn't think you were going to step up to the mark. I didn't think you were confident enough. But my God, song finished. Thank you. Nice. Customers love the food, let me tell you. Don't start overcomplicating your menu. You go my way. Right, this, this is a new beginning. Richard? Yes, sir. You're I a agree, smart Patronus. That's the funniest thing about all of this, is what Patronus just said, is we still haven't seen Richard do anything. You're better than just sitting, meeting, greeting. Get you in there, fired. get your hands dirty. <laughs> Nick so. We have come a long way. And this is just the start. Every day you walk I in agree, there, you demand the best out of Richard, and you demand the best out of Jorge. Push each other. Yes, sir. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, Chef okay. Chef Lanzi didn't only change our business, he changed our lives. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Thank you. Thank you. When I first got here, I met two owners that were completely clueless. One didn't know how to run a restaurant, and the other one had no idea how to run a kitchen. They've both come a long way, clearly, but they've got an even longer journey now to rebuild this reputation in the community and to become a successful restaurant. Honestly, I wish them luck. <laughs> Breaking news, we stopped grilling Caesar salad. Ah! <laughs> we stopped grilling Caesar salad. In right, the weeks that follow, thank you, thank you for coming back out again. I know we well, you know, got up some rough foot. Richard and Jorge continued their community outreach. I appreciate the support. Thank you. And business at Park's Edge is definitely on the rise. Richard has taken a more active role. Okay, salmon. Cody, oh my God, thank you so much for the T1. Can we get some hype and chat for Cody? And welcome Cody into the Egg Fam slash basement. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a cold girl inside? Sam, no, 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 no. Can I get a yellow strip on the window, please? For 43, it's coming right now. Thank you. Jorge has not only embraced the new menu, but has done a great job executing it. Okay, two shrimp and grits. Well, Thank and, uh, you. Bacon and bacon. Our future for Park Sage is not guaranteed, but I definitely have a very, very strong feeling that we are on our way to success. There's a new light at the end of the tunnel. Kevin, thanks for the follow. How are you? I like the new sign. The new sign's really good. All right, let's see. Open or closed? Let's see. Open or closed? Parks Edge. Open or closed? Uh, okay. Scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, scroll, 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 scroll. In the weeks that followed, the owners continue the community outreach and businesses on the rise. Richard is more active on the floor while Jorge has embraced the new menu. After the show, they kept most of Gordon's changes but returned some customer favorites to the menu. After filming, the Yelp reviews are mixed, but negative comments are mostly service-based and hit-or-miss menu items. The TripAdvisor reviews were mixed, with negative comments also seem to complain of poor service. In October 2011, they failed the health expression after having failed previously. Okay, so it says Parks Edge closed in early to, uh, 2014 after their lease ran out in November 2013 and were reportedly looking for a new location to reopen. The restaurant never reopened. The website was active until 2020, six years after they closed. It aired in 2012 episode was filmed in 2011 and it closed in uh 2013 slash 2014 that's crazy 